These guys are ready to rock and roll, and rock and roll they shall. And it'll be uh, speaking another, of fin, <laughs> it'll be there's another there's a fin sitting right up on top. That's going to be r- rough to roll over, but Jeremiah can certainly do it. Look at that, he rolled around <laughs> it, and now it's sitting on the backside, just waiting to be paid attention to. Is he going to go up? Yeah, he is. Oh, and he uh, drops oh, one and that, in. That and one's he, still standing up there. How does it stand? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. He's looking at five on three right now. If he can pick up one, yeah, he'd be Tony, happy with that. Tony's got a decision to make. And yeah, he's, oh, and he's oh, going to pick up three. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Come on, Tony. It's time to finish yep. an incredible weekend, says Bruce Lalonde, who was out here on center Absolutely. court with us just a few short Absolutely. hours Wasn't ago. Wasn't he Tony's partner? Yeah, I think yeah. he was. I think he was when they were out here playing mm-hmm. in the doubles. Tony's had a really great weekend. He, he really he, has. He, he may win. He may come in second. It doesn't matter. He cannot hold his head down from this weekend. Yeah, well, and, I'll tell you, and I'll tell you something else, too. This is more so even than the last match. This is going to be the pace. Yeah. Whoever sets the pace will determine the end of the race. That is a fact, Jack, right there. Well, we know who's going to try to set the pace. Uh, he's, he, appears, come, sure. he appears to be set. Yeah. He and he picks up six. He's going to pick up six points on that one. Yeah. How about that? Wow. So three on nothing becomes nine on nothing right now. And, again, it's a double dip situation, so Jeremiah's got to do it to him twice. But there is fire in those eyes. Best cornhole player in Michigan, Aaron Overheiser, Hisser says, or Heiser. Overheiser, yeah, yeah. Aaron Overheiser, t- hands down, Tony Pena. Well, he has certainly. Well, I'll tell you what, he's proved it to me. I can tell you that right now. Proved it to and everybody who was paying attention this weekend. That is an absolute fact. I think Aaron Candler may disagree. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Honestly, I don't think he would. No, not uh, right now. I, that's I, for I sure. I do not think he would. The number of times we've seen Candler on, Candler's been on center court to adjust the rugs. Uh, not as many times as Payne has been on here in championship matches. That was a good bag right there. Roll it up. And oh, roll it. Got nice. Got yeah, it, got it two through. out of it. Nicely done. That's a heck of a shot right there by Tony Payne. Yeah, it was great. A lot of There was yeah. a lot of juice behind that one. It didn't look like he threw it that hard, but he certainly had enough. Sporting hocus. Absolutely. Let me take a look and see what's going on here with these guys' relative numbers because, as you might imagine, both the are, top, two, top two PPRs for the singles were Tony Payne and Jeremiah Ellis. Now, I will tell you this, Jeremiah's dropped down to third now just behind Bob Heil because Heil was throwing fire yeah. all day. He just ran into that buzzsaw, and there was nothing he could do about it. But Payne on top of the 10-3-1. Well, you know, uh, the last game. This will help Jeremiah. Jacob Whaley back. tried to dirty the game up a little bit, and that's why Jeremiah's PPR. Mm-hmm. Goes down. Oh, my goodness. He got, could have got four and only got two. Well, nine on two right now. The number one seed, Jeremiah Ellis, who also took down the ACO Pro Series number eight championship last night in a double dip situation with Tony Pena, who is sitting in the king seat. Jeremiah, trying to, Jeremiah Ellis trying to. Repeat is the last major. Then he went. He won the last major too. Yes, he did. Um, Cedar he is, Rapids. Yeah, he's on fire, man. Well, he says he's unstoppable. Yep. He says he will not lose another opportunity yeah. the rest of this season. Yep. You heard Craig Irvin saying, "Well, there's a few of us that have a little something to say about that." That's but right. That's all right. I know. I saw you. I saw you poking a little bit yeah. earlier. I was sitting yeah. over here listening. Now let your bags do the talking. Nice oh, shot, good Tony. Shot. Great airmail. Good Tony stuff. Picks All right. up two. Eleven to two is now eleven to four. Jeremiah's got him a some go go juice. Payne Who won doubles? It, that would be uh, Craig Irvin and Tyler Amos. As picked by yours truly. That's I think the only one that didn't prove you wrong. Yeah, and th- uh, this one, this one, I still to. got a chance. You still do have a yeah. chance. Yeah. Tony takes that first bag, puts it right where he wants. You might as well take as many as you can get against the jackhammer. Yeah. Jeremiah could might could bully that bag out. Yeah. He does a little bit. Moves Tony can corner. still get it. Corner of the hole. Oh. oh. Went for it. Chase. And just completely a swing and a miss. Oh, and he almost tried to yeah. do it again. Almost lost it off the left side. Oh, oh. Jeremiah lets him off the hook. He does. Just Jeremiah. a little bit. Only takes the three. Mm. <laughs> I 
you know, it's almost like every once in a while when you watch somebody that's this good, it's like, and I know I make these comparisons all the time, but it's almost like you watch a, a PGA event waiting just to see somebody shank one. Yeah. Because they're so good, you never see no. it. So every once in a while when you see somebody do that, you're like, oh, my God, they are human. And we don't get to see Tony very often. Mm. He must not travel down a little lower than Mis- here in Michigan. But this guy is good, oh, he's man. He's very good. He is good. We were searching him out from the minute we yeah, got here looking absolutely. for him for the Pro Series, and he did not no. disappoint. And that's just we don't we just don't see him, and right. it's just not. Well, there's a it, lot yeah. of a lot of travel that's done. That's great stuff. Two four baggers. They exchange taters after yeah. they update their uh, after they update their scores. But yeah, it, I mean, there's a lot of travel. We have quite a few players that have done 13 majors or more. They'll be receiving that bulldog. Award at the uh, World Championships, named after our friend Mike Schaefer. May he rest in VIPs. Absolutely, you getting your, you're gonna get yourself a bulldog. I might. I th- I'm gonna be up over that. So we'll see. Here's the thing. I don't know if uh, if I'm qualified. I don't know if I'm qualified. I've been. I'll be at ten majors, but I'm gonna be at uh, I'll be at three other events on top of that. So I've, who knows? I've got, I've but got I think it's majors. I don't think I am going to qualify. <laughs> I've got five. I've got five under my belt other than our pro series now. Uh, very good. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, then you're there. Yeah. You are already at 13, it 14 on four right now. Jeremiah Ellis, the number one seed, working on Tony Pena, who sits in the king seat right now. Oh. 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 Curious. You know, it would be a nice honor to have something named after the Bulldog. As many times as I got to play that guy. Mike Schaefer. Yes, sir. Sat down ate breakfast with him several times. Yep. We usually stayed in the same hotel. Opportunity to uh, to salute the man. Who Absolutely. Been pretty much since day one. Had him at the Worlds last year. That was his last Worlds championship. And he truly was a lifetime member. He, yeah, he was. got that ACO he tattoo did. down in Bradenton. I'll never forget that Absolutely. as long as I live. Made it down to Branson last year and threw against. Uh, How about that score? <laughs> threw against I even our, looked uh, at the score until yeah. just now, and I'm going, I thought this game was a lot closer than that. Yeah, threw it against uh, Tim Burnett. So, yeah. good stuff there. How about 12 per? Yeah, let's give a shout-out to Tim Burnett, too, man. Let's yeah. hope he everything goes good for him, well, too. Well, he rang that bell. He yeah. finished his treatments. He rang that bell for Schaefe and for he wore Schaefer's jersey when he rang mm-hmm. that bell. That's so, awesome, isn't it? Godspeed and uh, – Continued healing to our man, Bernie. Preston Amos tuning in down there in Sardis, Mississippi. Love it when my guys tune in, Finn. Mm-hmm. I'd like to give them a shout-out. 18-4, to 4, Jeremiah Ellis, who is heating been, up again. It's been sitting here for a minute, 18-4, yeah. to 4, so it lets you. It does make you wonder. Remember, Tony's yeah. taken a handful of, uh, a handful of frames. Mm-hmm. To find his groove. Yeah, and that's a temptation island right yeah. there. He, hey, anybody, he's not mad about that, I promise you. Up and over and. Oh, when, when he, he gets chased to. It and he missed it. The, the worst thing could have had me could have bumped Jeremiah's back, back in, in and all, that could have been the game. You know how many times been. I've done that in my lifetime. Oh, yeah. More than you care to <laughs> yeah, mention. Absolutely. But more, at least as, not, as many as you're willing to admit. Yes, this is the <laughs> first game. <laughs> no, I don't mind admitting it, ain't no. I know I'm just a middle-of-the-road player that has a good time. Well, I am a uh, middle-of-the-road kill is what I am. Oh, look at that. You're going to give that to me? Am I going to get that? Sweet. You are a champion I'm today. That, I'm taking that singles trophy home. If you don't hear me here at the end of the match, it's because I have vamoosed with the hardware. Hey, I'm still waiting on my shoot it. <laughs> oh, your tube, shoot it, tube, yeah. RNC better get to get it, get the work. Oh, and that's oh, going to be the game. That's going to do it. All right, there's game, game one. number one, twenty-one to four. Jeremiah Ellis. Now all he's got to do <laughs> is do it again. Record time, well, too. What, Record that was, time. That was quick, right yeah. there. That was quick. All right, so game two. Now it's just a one and done situation. Yeah. Tony Pena. Now this is about the time he'd start to fully heat up. But the question is, the pace of this game. We keep talking about it, but Ellis is just. Man, I mean, if I ever play him, I swear I'm going to slow down. Yeah. You're going to think I'm going to sleep over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna, I want to make it. It's, it'd be nice to make him mad. Henry Thacker Jr. tuned in. Another great player. Lane Cruz. Hope you're getting well, buddy. A lot of Jeremiah Ellis fans. A lot of Tony fans mm-hmm. out there. I would never predict that score that last game, no. 20, 21 to 4. 
No, and it sat on 18 to 4 it for did? quite a while, but uh, it looked nice. like it was going to be over much earlier than it was. But uh, oh, got fourth bag blues. Yep, I got to give it. I got to give it to Tony though. I think he's still got it. I think this game will be, no matter who wins, it's going to be a lot closer. I, I think so than that too. That first game. I, I tend to agree with you there, Finn. Tony, Tony, I don't know how much warm-up time he got. We saw him down there, and Jeremiah was just – yeah. the game went over faster than Tony, I thought, ever ever, ever thought, thought that it would, it would. Yeah. yeah. Who put Ellis in the winner's bracket? Brandon Earls got some revenge on him. Yes, he did. And then uh, it was, uh, as we mentioned, re-revenge. Nice airmail right there. So it was a good push. Nice clean up. Clean up there from Jeremiah. Leaves that middle wide open. Tony takes it. Oh, he said no, and it went in anyway. Does that count? Fourth bag. There it is. Yeah. All right. A couple of 12s post up there. Stand at two to nothing right now. Let's see exactly what this yeah, is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull to, that out. Starting to wonder. Tony is uh, went from a 10 to 9. Ashley Irvin says Brandon Earls to a 10-2-5. Jeremiah is at a 10-3. Yeah, he is smoking, man. I wrapped up the day with a 10-2-6. On the way back to Wisconsin or Michigan. He's in. He's a Michigan guy. He's, a, he's a Michigan. But right by but Wisconsin. Right the, uh, yeah. yeah, right on the edge of Cal. Country. Nice bag, Tony. Nice bag. Moo Cal. Yeah, it up. Perfect. Now this, I think we're going to see a lot more of this, and you notice it's just a little bit slower. Just yeah, a just a hair slower. slower. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit slower. I see some folks over here trying to get the wave started. Yeah. <laughs> Be the, the weeniest wave of all. <laughs> How about some of the people wandering in here now just to watch this? Just to see yeah. what's going on in the you, thing. You watch this, and you're going to think, wow. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. This game's easy. Yeah. Nice. Tony is just, he's really just got to stay consistent. He's got to take that middle when it's given to him and wait for Jeremiah to overplay his hand. Oh, yeah. Look, he's happy about that. He step oh up yeah. there. It'll give him a little bit of surface area to get them both. And put them nice three. shot, Tony. Nicely did. That's what he did. Hey. He gave hey, him. here we go. We got the wave going after the four bagger. Yeah, he gave him, he gave him that. Uh, that extra surface area to yeah. go in there and grab. So he that did. was nicely that, done. That was a heck of a shot right there by Tony. I see Brandon Earl still hanging around watching. He's just thinking, man, I beat that guy. He's the only one that's beat him all weekend, too. Yeah. Let's think about that. Yes, he is. Yeah. Him and his partner didn't have such luck in the doubles, but, you know, Jeremiah came here on a mission. Oh, boy. Slow it down, Tony. Yeah. Slow it down. And Tony has slowed it down just a little bit. A little bit. He's Not to the point where he, oh, where he wants to put himself yep. out of his rhythm. And Jeremiah gives me that wry yeah. little smile. He did, yeah. He did. Yeah. Well, he just takes them two at a time. Unless he takes them seven at a time. That's what's That's so crazy. Right. He's either picking up one or two or seven or eight. Absolutely. We've been bantering back and forth all weekend, so I know what that I know what that consisted of. Yeah. <laughs> how'd you finish? Uh, Lane Cruz wants to know how'd you finish. Do you know? Yeah, I finished like twenty fifth, maybe. <laughs> Not very good, Lane. One good game, one bad game. Nice roll bag. Super bag. Appreciate you asking. Hey, you need to take that. That's a perfect block. You're have to put some muscle in. Yeah. There. It yeah. goes down, and he got it in there, but he Absolutely. left one laying out to the left side. I saw that slick nice. side coming, man. You saw it. That was very yep. well done. Went in and picked up one of his own. Now this is going to be a uh, – oh. Oh, and that's boy. seven. One. That is well, seven. <laughs> what did I say? Two or seven. That, yeah. That's sort of how it goes. Oh, God. 11 to nothing here after taking game number one, 21 to four. Jeremiah Ellis having to double dip. Tony Pena, who was sitting in the king seat when he got to the winner's bracket. Yeah. Dallas fought his way back through the loser's bracket, as you mentioned moments ago, and he Absolutely. is on a mission. Absolutely, and that was a big round right there that it's hard to get back. 
pin. It's hard to get that seven back. Well, he's just oh, making and Tony's some, firing away now. Yeah, he's making some bad Phew. decisions. Look at that. That's insane. Man, I quit. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad news yeah. for Tony right And this there. could be another big round of five. Look at that. You blow yeah. it out. It could go to 16. Tony finishes off with 16 to nothing. How about that? 16 to nothing. Yeah. I feel like maybe he just, that, yes. was, the, that was the bag that broke the Pena's back right there. 37 to 4 in these two games yeah. so far for Jeremiah. Insane. Yeah. And also, I mean, he was laying waste yeah. to Garrett Purdy, 21 to 7. He took down Priest, 21 to nothing. Yeah. Todd Gammon, 21 to 7. I mean, Brian Latham was the closest. Yeah. Well, he actually, he, he was. Uh, yeah, Brian, yeah, that's the guy I was talking yeah, about he was, earlier. He had that, a good game against he Latham did. earlier. But, uh, yeah. You, oh, you, and there's two more. He's just racking points. Yeah, he is. 16 nothing yeah. right now. 18 to nothing. 18 to nothing right now. Yeah. It was a very light wave that just happened right there. And I think, and, and Amber Fretwell says, will Jeremiah be the next king of cornhole? He is killing it right now. Well, you, that is a great observation, and we've been talking about it. We talked about it a lot last yeah. night. And, I, and while I said, I, I feel like if 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 there's a, if there's an opportunity for Caleb to take it, I think this is his year to take it. I think he's back in full yeah. form. Hey, how would you like but to see that? I want to see that match I right now. I want to see that match. Yes. Yeah, and none of those guys are here. So no. You know, Tyler wasn't here last night. Neither Isaac nor Caleb was here last night. But we shall see. No we one in the see. country is throwing better than Jeremiah Ellis right now. Lane Cruz just said that, and I agree. Tony's going to grab a couple right oh, there. Tony's like, I'm not going down. Picked I'm a not couple. going down. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's got that Michigan contingency eight, here. 18 on two. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the, 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 the slowest wave I've ever yeah. seen in my entire Worst life. Worst wave ever. <laughs> I don't do many impressions, but the no. comic book by, uh, guy at The Simpsons is one of them. Hey, Eugene Robar says definitely the next King of Corn. And there's two more for it, dear. I might have put him on 20. I'm going ahead to say that right now. Well. You know, and here's here's the thing we're starting to see develop out of some of these characters in, in here, too. Yeah. I mean, you've got that smooth, silky delivery that Caleb's got. Uh, oh. Jeremiah is There it is. Two scary, more. Scary. How about Tony? He knows he had to try to make something happen right yep. there. He tried. He's, yeah, he made the air mail, just didn't catch his bag. This is the enough. third different set of bags yeah. we've seen him play with, though. And I'm I'm curious why he has moved three different times. Is it is it because these boards are playing faster? Because yeah. I don't feel like he's getting the same sort of grab and go when he's trying to get these airmail drags. No. Austin Thomas and his Amber Fretwell he's pick. Absolutely. That's a guy we we haven't we don't that just flies under the radar. Yeah. He's so quiet. He's and another that, one yeah. that we've uh, we've seen some great things. And absolutely. there's also there's also plenty of players that can Get out there very quietly. Oh, and this could be the game. There it is. All Jeremiah right. Ellis with the sweep. Boom. Oh, up and over. Yeah. Nicely done. Jeremiah Ellis, your pick as the champion. Yes, sir. For the hey. Grand Travers <laughs> Major and Pro Series number eight. We're going to bring him over here and we're going to get a little bit more of that on us last night we presented him with the trophy for the pro series this time it's an opportunity to take the whole shooting match so he took all the biggest trophies we're going to be working off of this camera up here if yep. we can get him to come over tony Pena had himself a hell of a weekend yeah Definitely it was a good weekend for tony michigan we're going to go right here all right very good we'll wait on jeremiah to come over here and basically just tell us uh, i told you so and yeah. uh, that's basically what we're Expecting so Absolutely. he's gonna exchange some very awkward hugs with other guys that are <laughs> big here money weekend for for Jeremiah no too. Question. I'm gonna ask him a bar and nickel. No question, no <laughs> question. If he's done jawing, maybe yeah. come over. Hope he has a few words left for us because hey, he is a somebody man grab of, him. Man, a few words. He's gonna go over there and get a couple more congratulations. That's his doubles partner, Mr. Warren. Good stuff. All right, <laughs> he's running over here. He's got stuff to say. This one. 
All right. You want us to say it for you? I told you yeah. so. You want us to go ahead and Come say on. it for you? He said it. All right. We th- you told, you told us, us so. so. <laughs> 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 Good stuff, man. Thanks. I'll tell you, that was some of the fastest uh, games you dictated the pace. Every game that we saw, we know when, you know, when Brandon got his, his revenge that he said he wanted, and then you re-revenged him coming back later on. Uh, you look like you could still go out and play a whole nother pool play in singles tournament. Yeah, right? I'm ready. You, you look I like was, you're ready. Uh, doubles, I struggled. I was, it was rough this mor- <laughs> this morning, but after that, I, was, I felt great. So, I mean, you've been on fire, dude. I mean, you, you just put carpet in my hands. I That's think all you I need. missed one bag in that whole yeah, game. That was so game. mad. I just want to be perfect so bad. <laughs> now, let's take a quick look here. You guys keep talking. Yeah, I want to see where spin. you ended up because we were tracking your PPR throughout in singles. Now we, you've been calling people out. Now. I don't, yeah. I, you know, I'd like to there see right now. You and that? Caleb Hart going at it the way you're playing. I mean, uh, he don't want that. It'll be same score. <laughs> oh, 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 now I like that, man. All right, well, yeah. you're ten four, good buddy. Yeah, that took the whole thing. Bob Howe came in a nice yeah. strong ten two six, and Tony right behind hey, him with a ten two. Let me ask you about the Bob Howe match. Bob tried to slow you down yeah. just a little bit, but he seemed to pick up a little bit too. That's when he started getting off a little bit. So yeah, uh, pace don't make a difference for me anymore it used to big time but i don't know now you, i just you, feel just like, like breakneck dude. speed man you, well slow to me is like maybe a half second so uh, okay. well and i would tell you the thing too with bob is you forced bob into a, a situation we saw him get into a couple of times and you tempted him and he bounced one off the back he went with an airmail which is usually pretty uh, solid for him mm-hmm. but you got him uh, out of that game and and you were able to kind of control the, the 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 flow of the game not just the pace yeah, it just down the middle today was that's yeah. that was the name of the game for me. We didn't roll too many, so we I just want to be down the middle. Yeah. Well, we noticed last night too, and maybe it was the difference in the boards because we use these boards for the singles and then the uh, the star boards for the pro series. But that bag that you've got, it's 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 I don't even think it's like a roll as much as it, is. it hits and it hops and then it decides what it's going to do two or three things and then it goes and finishes. Mm. It didn't do that as much on these boards. You didn't hop up off and do. It was more of a, a straight roll. Yeah, these boards are a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a fasterness or I don't know, but the other ones yesterday, they hop real bad. Yeah, it was a lot of hopping, but yeah. you were able to control it, which was crazy. I, I, I likened it to skipping stones across a river. Yeah. You know, you were able to get in there, boom, 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 and the third time it hit something, it did what it needed to do. Well, you did what you needed to do. You're taking off all the heaviest of the hardware out of here. Congratulations, brother. A lot of people talking about you as the next potential king of cornhole. We will find out. Where will we see you next? I'm not sure. Probably Happy Valley. Happy Valley. I think that's right. next. Yeah, we got good. Mobile next. Alabama. Yeah, I need, I need, a, a, good I need a weekend there. to hang a out. Of, a lot of good shooters there in Alabama, man. <laughs> hey, listen, we got to let other people win, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You hey, matter of fact, confidence. from this weekend, I might need to borrow a dollar or two. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. the same thing my wife said. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, there are a few checks over there for you to go yeah. collect. Let's go get them for you. And uh, congratulations again. Jeremiah Ellis came in as the number one Z-Man. seed, walks away with all the heavy hardware. As we mentioned, Grand Traverse here at the Traverse City. Grand Casino and uh, down the road and also here we got the uh, resort and spa. What a weekend of cornhole it's been. Lots of f- folks come in that don't know anything about what we're doing. I'm just like, oh, uh, and mm-hmm. we were sitting over here doing the same thing, yeah. watching and listening to you play. Well done on behalf of the entire crew who pulled off this entire production. Everybody, Chris Clark, April, the 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 Candlers, our man Oz, Frank Ears, the cornhole dude, so many others. And Philip Barnett, the Mississippi Ninja, and I are proud to be standing yes, right here sir. on either side, bookending the champ, Jeremiah Ellis. We will see you next time from Mobile, Alabama, for the ACO Mobile Major and Pro Series number nine as we work our way to Throwensboro, Kentucky, the final week of July for the World Championships of Cornhole Season 18. On behalf of the entire team here, we remind you, please be safe tonight. Have a great Saturday night. Thanks for all the great play. It was fun to watch and fun to listen to. And as our man Frank Gears, the Cornhole Dude, reminds you, keep on pitching. Hey, it's Finn from the American Cornhole Organization with a question for you. Do you remember the most fun you've ever had playing cornhole? Think about it. You might think you do, but you don't. And you know how I know? Because if you're not a member of the American Cornhole Organization, you haven't had the most fun you've ever had playing cornhole yet you're just a couple of clicks away from joining the worldwide cornhole community where you'll be able to play down the street or across the country with players of all skill levels and even the pros of the american cornhole organization the governing body of the sport 
and the fun of cornhole since 2005. Head to AmericanCornhole.com to learn all about the ACO and how to become a member of a local group near you. The most fun you've ever had playing cornhole is waiting for you. So, is it time to take your game from the sidewalk to center court? We can't wait to find out and we can't wait to see you. Let's have some fun. AmericanCornhole.com and the ACO remind you, keep on pitching.